check this out. I have resin 3D printed chain mail in 30 minutes. Let's check it out. Hey everyone, Uncle Jesse here. Willow Creative over on Twitter posted recently about how she designed some 3D printed chain mail. I mean, that's not a really a new thing. A lot of people are doing chain mail with FDM 3D printers, but this is the first time that I've seen someone attempt this with a resin 3D printer. She ended up printing hers on the Piopoli Phenom, shared those files out with everyone, and I went off and printed the exact same thing. So this is a full build plate full of this chain mail print here that I did on the Piopoli Phenom. It was a two hour print. That is crazy fast compared to what you'd be able to print these typically on an FDM 3D printer, whether you're printing one with PLA or some other material. One of the concerns that is if you just print this in standard resin, it's not gonna have enough durability with it to hold up to enough usage for cosplay or whatever it typically would be. So she ended up mixing in a little bit of tenacity in it, which is a Ciratec resin. So I did the same thing. I mixed a little bit of Ciratec fast and some tenacity and printed this on the Piopoli Phenom. It was again, a two hour long print. I did end up having a few issues with mine. For the most part, it printed really nicely here in the center, well off center there slightly. I have a few rings that just didn't print correctly. And then along the back edge here, this back row, I also had a few rings that did not quite print properly. She'd also make a smaller test file that you can use to run off and print with as well before attempting the larger version of this on one of your resin printers. And my test print came out okay, but the idea that I have here is from the test print, I have some rings that are in good condition and I'm just gonna swap those out here. The other great thing about printing this on the Piopoli Phenom is that I have this really large wham bam flex plate ugh, that I printed this all on. So it makes it really easy to take this print off and I don't have to deal with the build plate anymore. Then I just need to get a scraper here and I should be able to get these to pop right off of the build plate. So clearly I was a little too rough with my support removal. <laughs> It, uh, it went from just a few broken rings there to now I have a massive hole in the center here. For the most part, the supports were removed really easily from, from the, all of the rings here. And this is even before I've cleaned these up and cured everything. But uh, I think what ended up being the major issue was that some of the rings were already broken. And then as I started to pull away the supports, it just continued to to break these. I think one thing that I need to do is look into further maybe refining my settings on my Piopoli Phenom. I might need to change my FEP sheet because of that one small area that I was seeing. Actually, here it is right here where there's the, uh, the, the rings just did not properly adhere and print properly. There might be a, a sag in that area of the FEP sheet and I haven't changed that in a very long time. So it wouldn't be surprising if that was probably the culprit there. But it got me thinking here, what if I printed this, instead of on the Phenom, what if I tried printing this on something like the Anycubic Mono X? Uh, so I did that. <laughs> and instead of being a two hour print, it was only a 30 minute print. Thanks to this having a mono screen and being able to print stupidly fast, uh, yeah, and it looks like it printed really nicely as well. Obviously, I was not able to print this anywhere as near the scale that was available for the Phenom version. So I took her test file and just rearranged it multiple times so that it filled up as much as the build plate as I possibly could. With a little bit more rework, I probably could have filled this entire build plate with all of the chain mail. I'm gonna try and clean these off before I print them just by dumping them in a bucket of IPA here. This is from the Anycubic uh, Wash and Cure Plus, their huge wash and cure station. And we'll get this slightly cleaned up, at least get a lot of the excess resin that was left over on the prints off of them before I try and remove those supports a lot more carefully this time. And what I think I'm gonna do is just try and carefully remove the supports with some of these snipper tools versus pulling them off of the rings. This is gonna be a lot more time consuming, but the end results should hopefully be 
better. All right, here's a quick little tip. As soon as you get a fuel on the end there, you should be able to just pull the supports and they'll pop right off, which is great. So after removing the supports, I realized that I didn't properly space the uh, rings out and <laughs> they're all interconnected. It's still flexible, but not nearly as flexible as it should be. So I reprinted it all again. Thankfully, it's just a quick 30 minute print as I'm splashing resin everywhere. No! And this time, all of the center, uh, the whole row just did not properly print. No idea what's going on and why that happened. All right, I'm gonna readjust this and maybe tweak my settings one more time and give this another print. All right, so I slightly tweaked the settings. It's now exactly a 30 minute print. And this time it printed perfectly. There are zero failed rings. Everything looked like it adhered perfectly. And now it's just a matter of removing the prints from the base here and getting all of those supports off. And this time I hope I don't screw anything up. I'm gonna use the good old hot water trick here. So I've just got a bowl of hot water. I've already cleaned off the prints there in some isopropyl alcohol and I'm just dipping it in here quickly just to help loosen up those supports. Yeah, it's already nice and loose and I should be able to more easily, there we go, just start to peel these right off. That is much, much, much easier. If you're planning on printing these, I would really recommend that. Again, just get a bowl of hot water and dip it in there for just a few seconds and it'll help really loosen up the supports and then you can just basically pull it off like I'm doing right here. I do just need to wiggle a few of these loose. It looks like they're semi-connected still. And it's good to go. Now I just need to get it cured. Here we go. Super flexible. I mean, it's it's chain mail here. This is perfect for anyone that's looking to do some really quick printing for their cosplay. Obviously, you could uh, chain multiple of these together just by adding some additional rings and looping them together. You could just cut them, add a little bit more resin, and then use a UV light to cure them, and it would work really perfectly. Uh, this could also be spray painted. I could paint these metallic if I wanted to at this point. Everything's just like any other resin 3D print, and it should have some additional strength with it as well because I mixed it with that tenacity. A huge thank you to Willow Creative over on Twitter for her just amazing creativity when it comes to all of her 3D printing. Not even 3D printing, just her general cosplay projects. She cranks out the most amazing builds in such a short amount of time. It's really inspiring to see. If you're not already following her, you need to do that right now. I'll have links to her social media as well as links to Fangs where you can download this file and print it for yourself. I'll also post my Mono X resin settings here on screen for anybody that's interested uh, in printing one of these yourself with some serious tech fast and tenacity. By the way, if you're interested in all of my resin settings, I'll have that uh, available to you over in my Patreon where you can join and take part and get access to all of those wonderful resin and support settings. This again was just a really fun creative project and it really opens up the door for other opportunities to really combine other shapes to see what you can print in place and have some sort of a flexible workable piece here afterwards. I'm really kind of in awe of this and I wanna see what else I might be able to do with this from here on out. I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me some comments down below. You know, if you have other ideas of what this could potentially be used for or what other kinds of shapes could be interlinked together. There's some really cool opportunities with this here. Hey, thanks so much for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye now.